request for an update on the national stockpile and the efforts of the current administration and FEMA to procure more workers, including those that were being produced by GN and others. Uh, we were given assurances, all of us, that that stockpile was not only being replenished, but substantially increased tens of thousands of new ventilators. Uh, that California are Center record for testing. will be made available just in the next number of weeks. They gave a number the tens and tens of thousands in July that will be made available. Uh, and but I think we're also that's number one uh, in terms of the in most cases implications uh, as of in today. Terms of it's and their, their, that availability uh, as it relates to uh, Arizona. Uh, you may have heard me a moment ago say it looks like Pat Riley uh, with in partnership with FEMA we've sent uh, to uh, Arizona. Um, we feel a deep sense of responsibility uh, to support American citizens and to support people in need and, um, and uh, I would expect nothing less from that state uh, if we were in a circumstance where some of that protective gear uh, was necessary. So what's the deal? You're trying to go into lockdown again or what? We're pleased uh, that we've been able to fulfill uh, our commitments uh, with these large orders uh, of procedure and surgical masks as well as N95 masks to be in a position uh, to be able to do that. As it relates to your specific question uh, around quarantine individuals, we don't at this time, uh, 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 we don't believe at this time, at this time uh, that that is necessary. That Perfect said, politician. make this crystal clear. It's been the case in the past. It's been said words. It's been asked not just yesterday. Very but careful with how he ago. speaks that when you do come into the state of California, uh, you're responsible to uh, the, well, to advance the rules uh, within the state. Meaning, when you come into the state of California, you have to wear a face mask. When you come into the state of California, uh, you have rules and regulations and health guidelines that uh, have to be enforced and wow. we expect will be advanced. And so we do a disservice to each other if we're not humbled by the conditions that persist in different parts of this country. Um, and, uh, and in just a moment's notice, these conditions can radically change. Uh, so we should be humble. That's what I've learned. I've tried to practice it for months. I've certainly been humbled by this entire experience. I'm very nervous right now. Uh, while we have a 5% like positivity rate over a 14-day period, and it's increasing, you're correct, that positivity rate is not as high as those three states you've mentioned, uh, but I'm not here to attack the governors, my fingers. Um, we, we are working in the spirit of collaboration and cooperation uh, with governors, Democrats, Republicans, human beings that want to do the best they possibly can. This fool is definitely running for president in 2024. Their, states, their families, their communities, the world are collectively trying to let them have different approaches to things. Um, so that's why. Uh, when people have asked previous question for ventilators, maybe Cuomo to provide ventilators to I think five different states. When we've been asked for masks uh, that we want to afford, uh, the availability of masks, expertise to the extent now that we have provided all of this data to every governor in the state, every health official in the state, to every university in this country, that is in the spirit. Uh, trying to be open, transparent, and more importantly, connected to a collective cause. And that's the cause of ending COVID-19 in the United States of America. Many states, but one extraordinary vision and nation. And so uh, we are all about forming and advancing the cause of a more perfect union. And I feel deeply, deeply empathetic to those governors that are struggling at this moment. And, uh, and we will do everything in our power to be as supportive as we possibly can to them. So uh, with humbleness in the heart, I say that. Um, and also soberness, recognition of the world we're living in here in the state of California. Uh, and I will close as I begin by making a point that cannot be emphasized enough. Individual decision making in the aggregate will determine uh, the trajectory of our trend lines, uh, and ultimately mitigate uh, the expectation uh, that we're going to experience uh, even more horrific outcomes into the future. We have the ability to bend this curve. We have remarkable capacity to mitigate the spread 
of COVID-19 by putting on a face mask, a face covering, when we can't practice physical distancing. We've got 4th of July coming up. We have rules of the road, expectations that we believe need to be met, and we cannot impress upon people more the importance at this critical juncture when we are experiencing an increase in cases that we had not experienced in the past to take seriously this moment. And if we do, we can mitigate and we can mend and we ultimately can rebound and become more resilient still uh, in the future. And that, again, is well, a decision each and every make. one of us needs to make by practicing common mass. sense and good behavior. So it's in the spirit of common sense, the spirit of our grandparents and our parents that teach that. They don't wear the mask. Preach. Take them to and jail. We'll practice that. And they so belong. We'll all do our part, And I hope you do yours as well. And we look forward to re-engaging and reconnecting this time tomorrow. Thank you, everybody. Okay, that was Governor Gavin Newsom. And as you heard right there at the end, he will have another briefing tomorrow. There you so have it. To the daily briefings. We want to return you now. Step closer to, to lockdown.